NFL action with my partner, John Madden. And hold on, because this is going to be a good one. Now, here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And the great thing about him is that he always gets a job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. Marvin Harrison will be his go-to guy once again, and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. Look at them down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. <laughs> They're already hitting each other. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Both teams eager to get today's action started, so let's go to the field. The Colts are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the one. Mr. Tackle clears the defender. Ready to go on offense for the first time. Our EA Sports coach close-up features two of the more meticulous coaches in the NFL. Mike Shanahan has had a wealth of offensive talent in all his years as the Broncos head coach. Indianapolis comes out in their nickel tackle. Handed off to the back. Harper makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. REA Sports coach close-up continues with Tony Dungy, former head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and what a job he did there, taking one of the most hapless franchises in sports and turning them into perennial playoff contenders. Second and eight. Bell, the lone back. Dropping back, stepping up, gets rid of it, and he can't find a way to keep possession. That was right on the money, but drop. Steps up into the pocket. Gets the pass off. Sanders records the stop at the 38-yard line. Jill Arrington with her report from the sideline. I caught up with Coach Dungy as his team was coming onto the field, and what he told me was that he's given his players a little extra incentive in this one. He promised his players that if they can pull out a win today, they're going to be given an extra day off this week. We'll see how it plays out. All right, Jill, thank you for the update. Bell didn't have much to work with on that one. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep him off balance while trying to draw him offside. Second and ten. Bell, the lone back. Dropping back. Looking for an option. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. Morris just made a great defensive play. That's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. And this is the sixth play of this drive. They'll go with the quarter defense. Steps up into the pocket. On the run. Incomplete pass. John is able to tip it away again. On every pass, there's a window you try to throw the ball through. And right now, the defense is just shutting the window. Nor will come into this game to punt. Jefferson lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense just about ready to go as they take the field for their first possession. The Colts come into this game very confident that their offense can take over and create all kinds of problems for the defense, John. This team's very good at freezing the defense. Doesn't sound like much, but getting the defense to hesitate for just a split second will make the difference between a short gain or a first down. Hand it off. Wilson stops him at the 17-yard line. Gain of a handful. Second and four. Huh. 
The Broncos come out in a nickel package. He sees something in the defense. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got dead. Nice read. Finding the receiver who is in single coverage. It's first and ten. Nickelback in this time. Hand off to the tailback. Still running. What a collision. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. Gain of 10. Ball on their own 38. Only one man back. The linebackers are changing the coverage. Looks like he's changing the play. We'll get the call again. James barely gets enough. He gets just barely enough for the first down. There's a situation where you square your shoulders and you get what you need for the first down. So we have first and ten here. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. Calling an audible. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. The defensive line wins that battle. Yeah, and he was looking for a place to cut back. But the defenders had all their gaps, and there was no place to cut it off. Second and long. Denver comes out in their nickel package. He sees something in the defense. Stop behind the line. Let's look up. Great read by the defensive line there, John. They knew exactly what was coming. You know what they like to do out there comes from lots of film study and preparation. When you know what a team likes to call in certain situations, third and long, second and short, it really gives you an edge on defense. They come out in a dime package. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Wall with the stop at the 42-yard line. A master waking up solid never see it ever did. How many moves? Time is irrelevant. People to places. The lead sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. It's first and ten. Only one man in the backfield. Plummer sends a man in motion. June takes him down at the 24-yard line. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. Second and nine coming up here. Looks like he's changing the play. Dropping back, steps up into the pocket, and he hits his target. Thornton is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 26 yard line. Caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense is real good at putting a quick end to completion. Drops back. He surveys the field. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Strickland brings him down at the 34. Can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. It's first and 10. They'll go from the I formation. 
the 40. Sanders records the stop at the 50-yard line. Turned it upfield and picked up Blue's yardage. Let me tell you, if he can stay healthy, he's going to have a long career ahead of him. And makes quick cuts. He just threw the hole so fast. Fifth play of this drive. Ball at midfield. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Bashir records the tackle at the 34-yard line. The rookie gets a big gain there. He's got rare vision, patience for a young back, and that should give him a lot of success. So they have first and 10 here. Bell, the deep back. Pressure coming. He surveys the field, and he's tackled behind the line. The veteran swoops in there and gets the sack. Hey, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact play. Now in second and long after the sack. Only one man in the backfield. Under pressure, throwing. Just can't find a way to bring that one in. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. They're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back the throw. Steps up, gets rid of it, incomplete pass. A short pass off the mark, and it's now fourth down. <laughs> Nor is ready to punt this one away. Jefferson is the deep return man. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. First and ten. Making some changes along the defensive front. The Broncos come out of the nickel pack. The Broncos bring him down for the safety. Lines up for the free kick. He gets the free kick off. From the 38. The defense will try to force them to punt again as they did the last time the offense had the ball. It's first and ten. Gets the toss to the right. Thornton records the tackle at the 46. Gain of three. They need seven. Closing in. He's looking. Good play in the backfield. Freeney coming from his defensive end position gets the set. And speaking of packing. He's going to be packed in an ice bag on the sideline after taking that one. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. The Colts come out in a dive package. That will be the final play of the first quarter. The close one so far. The Broncos ahead of the Colts. 2 0. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Third and long. The Colts come out in a dime package. Dropping back, looking for a receiver, throws it, and 
it's complete. Sanders makes the tackle at the 48. Smith can't find a way to advance it to the first down mark. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up to punt. They run a fake. And solid yardage on that run. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. It's first and ten. Only one man in the backfield. The back breaks free. Can't bring him down. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. It's another running play, and they'll pick up another first down. Hey, when things are clicking like this, you just want to keep going for as long as you can. Ball on the 32-yard line. They line up in the I formation. Passing on first down. Rolling right. He's going for it all. He couldn't control it. John, a perfect play call, but the receiver had the pass go right through his hands. He did a good job beating his cover. The quarterback found him with a pass. He just couldn't get it under control. Six defense in this time. He sees something in the defense. Plummer sends a man in motion. Dropping back. Scrambling. Throwing on the run. He hits his receiver. The Broncos have yet to face a third down in this series when they have three first downs. Twelve yards needed to get into the end zone. They line up in the I formation. Brock brings him down at the nine-yard line. They ran it there. Yep, that's an important part of this team's offense. Seven yards to go. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Looks like he's changing the play. It's a blitz. He was drilled as he threw. He has to find a way to get the pass off a little sooner. Yeah, the pass rush got to him just as he was releasing the ball. He did avoid the sack. He's got to be careful not to throw the ball up for grabs where the defense can pick it off. Seventh play of this drive. The Colts come out in a dime package. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Knocked away by the cornerback and saving the touchdown. He had the coverage and he saw the receiver responding to the ball in the air. And he made a nice play. Comes out to attempt this one from about 26 yards. The kick is up. Plenty of distance on that one. Good kick. The Broncos are ready to kick this one off. Good distance. From the five. The Colts will start this drive from 20 yard line. It's first and ten. Uh, 
15, the lone setback. Dives and brings him down. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. He just exploded towards the marker that time. That was a big time run. So we have first and 10 here. I'll tell you, that was a heck of an effort to get in there and make that play and force him into a big loss like that. It's second down and a long way to go. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. Manning, great athlete, and throws one of the prettiest balls in the NFL. Yeah, receivers love playing with him because he'll never hang you out to dry. That's something he's always had. Good rotation and a soft touch. Denver brings everyone up to the line of scrimmage to be in better position for any type of run. Throwing. And he makes the grab. A great one-on-one -on -one stop by Herndon. Give him some time to hit his man. And the thing is, he doesn't care how big that window is. With his accuracy, everyone's open. So they have first and ten here. Only one man in the backfield. Can't bring him down. We'll feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, with how hard he just got in, he's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. John is still trying to move the ball on the ground. This is a tough physical team. He likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears down the interior line and helps to slow down those pass rushes. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. With the throw, he's at the 20. Walls makes the stop at the 19-yard line. Manning has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens? You get into a rhythm. The way this guy's going, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. And this is the seventh play of this drive. They're in field goal range. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Bailey makes a good play, got into the backfield, and made the stop for a loss. That's one of the things the coaching staff really likes about him. He loves to play the run, and he's a good tackler. Manning back in the shotgun. Drops back, gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Walker, he's in there for the score. Get set for the extra point. And it's up. And the extra point is good. Great drive that culminates in a trip to the end zone and gives them the lead. That's a big drive that they really needed. The score really swings momentum over to their side, giving them confidence that they can move the ball against this defense. Now it's up to their defense to keep the pressure on. The Broncos will start this drive from the 32-yard line. So we have first and ten here. They'll go from the I formation. Bell. Stutter step. Thornton takes him down at the 39-yard line. It's second down, two to go. The backs are lined up in an eye. Anderson. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. Third and maybe one. They line up in the I formation. Handed off to the back. 
Bell barely gets enough. He drives forward to reach the sticks. Boom! You just see a guy with enough power to make the yardage that he needs. So they have first and ten here. Bell is the deep back. Changing the play now. Surveying the field with the catch. June stops him at the 45-yard line. He gets the pass away for a small game. Second down. Good play right there. The defenders forced him to make a move that would get him nowhere. Ball on their own 45. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Drops back. He surveys the field. Throws on the move. And he can't find a way to keep possession. Two-minute warning coming up. The Colts come out in a nickel package. Throws on the run. Turns, he has it. Bashir makes the play at the 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Two minutes to go. Only one man in the backfield. Big hit on the ball carry. And when you talk about getting unloaded on, that's what happened here. He just got unloaded on. They went with the running play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. They have to get the ball inside the 20 to convert. Indianapolis comes out in their nickel package. Looking downfield, on the move. Looks like he might have had another option out there, John. But he never saw it. He has to make better reads after. And this is the ninth play of this drive. The Broncos line up in a five receiver set this time. And it's complete. Puts it on the ground. The Colts swore on it. Costly fumble there, John. They give it up in the red zone. I'll tell you, they always say it. You have to come away with something when you get down inside the 20. The teams that are successful in this league almost always get some kind of points when they move down here. Maybe they only kick a field goal, but they usually get something. And that's a heck of a lot better than coming away with no points at all. So what we're looking for here is whether one of his knees hit the ground before the ball came out. And sometimes it's hard for the official because there can be a whole bunch of bodies around the ball carrier and he can't get a good enough view to overturn it. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. You have to give it to these officials. Their job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, and most of the times they're right. Calling an audible. Throwing on first down. The defender's got it. He has to make better decisions than that near the goal line. I'll tell you, the one thing you can't do when you get in the red zone is turn the ball over. You have to come away with some sort of points. This is not a spot where they want to be in just before the half. They need to keep it on the ground and hope to get a first down so they can run out the rest of the clock. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. James. They'll go with a play fake. Rowing to the 20. Big pop that time. Boom. Now that is big time football. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. We're just about down to one minute. Indianapolis pulls a timeout. They have two left. We're at the one minute mark.
Denver comes out in the dime package. Passing on first down. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. Sharp stiff on Indianapolis calls a timeout. They have one timeout left. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half. But they got to be careful and not let the other team back in it with a turnover. Looks like he's changing the play. Pressure with the pass, and it's intercepted. The offensive line couldn't do the job, and the pressure forced him to make a bad throw in the coverage. I'll tell you, it's very important to have pressure on the quarterback. What that does is make the secondary job a heck of a lot easier. And that play, it led to an interception. Directing traffic. Indianapolis looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Throwing. Incomplete pass. What a play by the corner to get to that pass. He really had good position on the receiver without interference. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. Bell, the deep man. The 40. The 50. Misses the tackle. He's finally brought down at the 42. They got to have good clock management if they want to get some points in this drive. And if they can get some, it would be a big help for them going into half. So they have first and 10 here. The Colts come out in a dime package with the pass, and it's complete. Harper makes the stop at the 28. He'll pass on first down, looking long down the right side of the field. Incomplete pass. Fifth play of this drive. Set. Looking for a receiver on the run. And the catch is made. Touchdown, Broncos. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up, and he kicks on the extra point. The Broncos are set to kick it deep. Booming kick downfield. From the four-yard line. Defense looking for a second straight interception. It's first and ten. The Broncos come out in the quarter defense. James fakes the handoff with the pass. He hits his receiver. The Colts call a timeout. They have none remaining. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent them from getting into field goal range. Denver lines up with seven guys in the secondary. With the throw, and it's complete. Herndon makes the play at the 47. Denver going to a prevent defense here as they back up the safeties and corners. They head to the locker room. Good first half. They score. Denver 12. Indianapolis 7. We'll go back to the play on the field. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. And we're set for the second half. He got all of that one.
using the stiff arm. Stiff arm to the ground. The Colts will start the drive from the 27-yard line. It's first and ten. Rushing on first down has not worked out for them today. Less than a two-yard per carry average. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. Plus some valuable yardage on that one through the middle. He's got to look to make his move earlier. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane. Or bounce it out looking for a little more room to the outside. Only one man in the backfield. Rowing. A great pass. Lynch records the stop at the 46. Good read finding the single coverage in the secondary. So they have first and ten here. They're having no success running on first down. That's why they're losing. You've got to be able to get yards on first down. Looks like he's calling an audible. Gets rid of it. Right to him. Bailey takes him down at the 22-yard line. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop it. It's first and ten. They're having no success running on first down. Stuff like a turkey. I mean, less than two yards isn't very good. James. Play action with the throw. And he hits his target. Marcus Pollard is in there for the touchdown. So the goal for the two here and the chance to make it a three-point game. Manning sends a man in motion. Looks like he's changing the play. Great ball there. The two-point conversion was good. Take a look at his success returning kicks. We get ready for the kickoff. Nice distance. From the eight. To the 20. No one has really taken control so far in this one. It's still anyone's game. So they have first and 10 here. Bashir is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 39. The running game has been the key to the offense so far in the game. Let's see if it continues. About a yard to go. The goal from the I formation. Looking to run it here. Barrett stops him at the 41-yard line. He just barely finds his way past the marker. Yeah, he knew he just needed a couple there, and he squares it away. Protects the football and goes and gets it. It's first and ten. John, their first down rushing average is very impressive. Yeah, they're getting some solid blocking inside and outside. Changing the play now. Hit it off to the back. Barrett stops him for negative yardage. He got in there and made the tackle. He's fourth in the game. He tries to wriggle away, but he stopped for a loss. The offensive line just didn't get any push. He's 
he can do a better job knocking those guys off the line. Second and long coming up here. Drops back, scrambling. Throwing on the run. This pass is incomplete. And the cornerback is able to tip it away from the intended receiver. He got a good sense of knowing where the ball will come down and when to make his move. And this is the fifth play of this drive. The Colts come out in a nickel package. Looking for an option. Rolling left. Pressure coming with the throw. And he fails to hang on to that. The defender got in between the ball and the receiver again. They play a very aggressive style of defense, so that will happen a lot to an opposing offense. will come in now to punt it away. Jefferson will go back to accept this punt. Here's the kick. He can't control the ball. The Colts scoop up the live ball. So they have first and ten here. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. That's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. James lines up behind his fullback in the eye, calling an audible now. Looking for room. They'll go with a play fake. And it's caught. Stiff arm to the ground. Bailey records the stop at the 21. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chain. It's first and 10. Can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. Hand it off. Kennedy with the tackle at the 33 yard line. James with a nice run. Picks up the first down. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks in the back found in the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. First and ten. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drags the ball carrier down behind the line. Probe the middle, but was turned away. They have two pretty good run stoppers in the middle of that line. They can cause some plays like that. Second and long coming up here. James, the long setback. Under pressure, he has some room. The 40. William takes him down at the 45-yard line. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this run. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. James, the lone back, changing the play now. They give it to the halfback. Bailey stops him at the 47 yard line. Minimal game there, and it looks like he's going to go to the sideline for at least a couple of plays. About eight yards. Hey, 
Hands it off. Throwing. And I think he might have had someone open. He's got to do a better job of reading the defense and going through his progression. He can't lock in on one guy and try and force it to him. He has to know that other guys in the offense can make plays out there, too. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. With the throw, and it's complete. Middlebrooks with the tackle at the 36-yard line. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look out. You're in a hole here on third down. They come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Calling an audible now. Looks like he's changing the play. With the pass, and he'll take it out of bounds at the 27-yard line. You talk about great concentration. Watch it. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. He sees something in the defense, calling an audible. Drops back, gets the pass off, and it's caught. Lynch stops him at the 12-yard line. And they're making it look easy out there. Their fifth first down of the drive. And the key out there has been great play calling, and even better execution. They mixed it up well, and the defense has been on their heels this whole drive. The defense lines up in the nickel. Directing traffic. Tucks it away. Fakes the handoff. Brandon Stokely is in there for the score. The lineup for the extra point. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. That was a very good drive, John. Good play call. You got to love this as an offensive coordinator. You're calling plays that get your team into the end zone. From the six to the 20. The defense did a very good job against them the last time they had possession, forcing a punt. So they have first and 10 here. lined up in an eye passing on first down goes over the middle and he hits his target he was there to make the catch for the first down he's glad he made that catch I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down it's first and ten they line up in the eye formation Freeney got very good penetration there. Good work by the defensive line there. They got off the ball, got penetration, shut off those running lanes. He was looking for a hole, but the only thing he saw was a massive wall of defenders. Second and long coming up here. Bell, the lone back. Plummer sends a man in motion. Looking downfield, closing in. The pass is picked off. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. The pass rush had a lot to do with that interception. That's exactly what happened out there. He felt the rush coming, and he was coming so fast that he threw it up for grabs, and he paid for it. 
I'm sure that he wished he had that one back as soon as he let it go. So we reach the end of the third quarter with the Colts ahead of the Broncos 22-12. Teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. After the interception, they take over first and goal. He sees something in the defense, calling an audible. Hand it off. Edwin James is in there for the touchdown. Penalty marker down. And that run won't count to be marched back. They're 11 yards away from the end zone. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. A <laughs> two-ton truck pulling a trailer. Sometimes you can be a little over-aggressive on defense like you see here. He had him lined up. The over-pursuit. He got caught out of position. And the ball carrier was able to cut back. Calling an audible now. Manning sends a man in motion. Directing traffic. Hand off to the tailback. Play action. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Touchdown, Colts. Peyton Manning is in a zone out there. That touchdown pass is fourth of the game. Vanderjack comes in for the extra point. The kick is up, and he takes on the extra point. So after that touchdown, the chances of a comeback seem far less probable. Yeah, these guys are just about ready to pack their bags and head for home. And he got all of that one, a great kick. The stiff arm there. In the last series, they forced a bad pass and got the interception. First and ten. Indianapolis comes out in a dive package. Throws it, and he hits his target. Horace makes the play at the 32-yard line. Good-looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. So they have first and ten here. The Colts come out in the quarter defense. Throwing on first down, and it's complete. Stop behind the line, loss of the couple. Watch this here. He gets his helmet right under his chin. Wham! He takes him straight to the turf. Rolls out to his left. Gets the pass off. Bashir is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 49-yard line. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. It keeps the same defense on the field. Pass play here on first down. Throws on the move. And this pass is complete. Sanders stops him at the 33-yard line. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. He'll pass on first down. Throws on the run. Incomplete pass. But found the single coverage he wanted. He just couldn't get it in there. Sixth play of this drive. The defense lines up in the nickel. Bell gets rid of it. 
Ooh, nearly picked off. Two tipped passes in a row. Yeah, and that's an adjustment the quarterback has to make. Seventh play of this drive. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. On the move. He hits his receiver. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. And it looks like they're going to go with a no huddle. Stepping up with the pass. The pass was incomplete. John, it looked like it was tipped at the very last moment by the field. That was a good read of the quarterback. That's what you need to do when you're playing center field. Ninth play of this drive. Only one man in the backfield. Looking for an option on the run. And he hits his target. Solid hit. Just punched him. And the thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. They'll head right back to the line. Pressure to the end zone. This one falls incomplete. Good play by the safety to tip it away in the end zone. This guy has great instincts. When he came into the league, they tried him at the cornerback spot. He hit so hard that they thought maybe he'd be a better fit at safety. Hold it off to the back. Looks like he just made it past the mark. Just a simple run through the middle. Well, all you got to do is control the line of scrimmage and get a little push so the back can get through there for the first down. They're eight yards from the end zone. The backs are lined up in an eye. Dropping back, throws this one off balance. Carswell is in there for the score. He gets a great block right here. To spring him for the touchdown. I'll tell you, he takes a defender right out of the shoes that time. It's up. The point after is good. The Broncos have just made it a two-score game. This team can put up some points, but this might be a little too deep a hole. So they drive the length of the field, come away with a touchdown. Anytime you score a touchdown like that, it gives your defense a boot. They're going to be out there with a lot of excitement and try and maintain this momentum for the rest of the game. Loses the defender. The defense gave up a touchdown the last time. Ball on their own 19. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Fakes the handoff. He's on the run. The 40. Lynch brings him down at the 45-yard line. Wayne catches a floater for the first down. And it's a good thing he caught it. You don't want to drop those passes in a short first down. First and ten. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Gets the pass off. And he slips out of bounds at the 44. You talk about great concentration. Watch it. He's able to keep his feet in bounds and make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. Directing traffic. On the call. Nice play fake. With the throw, the pass ball's incomplete. He was there, got his hands on it, but just couldn't make the catch. Rhythm and consistency is one of the most important keys to success when you drop back to pass the ball. 
But it's hard to find a rhythm and establish some consistency when you're the quarterback and your receivers are dropping passes that should be catching. Changing the play now. He sees something in the defense. He hands it off, fakes the handoff, throws it, and he hits his target. Turned and makes the play at the 36-yard line. That pass will bring his total through the air to just over 350 yards as he continues to shred the secondary. The Broncos come out in a nickel package, calling an audible. Throwing on the run. And this pass is completed. The defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and a first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, made calm, and threw an accurate pass. Sixth play of this drive in field goal range now. The Broncos come out in a dime package. Brought down behind the line for a short pass. Couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Manning with a man in motion. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Great throw. Wilson with the stop at the 23-yard line. It's third down now. And to convert, they have to get it to the 13. James, the lone back, changing the play now. with the pass and this pass is completed dives and makes the tackle nice ball going to the air and then a move to check they're 11 yards away from the end zone they'll go from the I formation looks like he's changing the play Pressure coming, throwing a strike to the end zone. He couldn't control it. Manning somehow got that pass away. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. The Broncos come out in a dime package. James. Nice play fake. Fires for the end zone. This one falls incomplete. Trying to get it in for six, but couldn't. Third down. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Calling an audible now. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. Trying to convert through the air, but the pass was off the mark. About a 28-yard field goal here as they line up for the kick. And it's on its way. He made that one easily. The Colts now enjoy a two-touchdown lead. The Colts are lined up for the kickoff. Should be a return here. From the 10. The defense gave up a touchdown the last time. Two minute warning coming up. The 
The Broncos line up in a five receiver set this time. He's scrambling around, trying to avoid the hit by sliding feet first. This is a point in the game where certain teams excel. They have confidence in their quarterback because he doesn't make crucial mistakes late in the game. He runs a no huddle with a sense of calmness. Almost a big turnover. One thing remains constant. No matter what kind of quarterback you are, rushing your throws is going to end up in incompletion or worse. Indianapolis comes out in the dive package. Throws on the move. This one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Almost at the two-minute mark now. This is not a difficult decision. They're going to go for it. He's looking. Throws it. Incomplete pass. They failed to get the first and turn it over on down. Yeah, but now you almost have to try for it. When you talk about fourth down situations, this is what you're talking about. Of course, now they give the ball back, and you talk about failed fourth down conversion. With the pass, right to him. The Broncos call a timeout. They have one left. Dumps the ball out to his receiver, and that'll bring up a first down. First downs are critical in this game. And when the quarterback calls your number, you want to make sure you make the catch and don't mess something up. Directing traffic. Gets rid of it. Catches it. Lane is in there for the score. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. And he kicks on the extra point. The Colts have wrapped this one up, John. They did a good job of not letting up. You should do things that got you to leave the first play. And they did it there. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the nine-yard line. To the 20. Runs through the tackle. The Broncos face an uphill battle as they begin this drive. At the 27, it's first and 10. Nickelback in this time. Passing on first down. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Bell was right there to pull that pass in. The receiver never took his eyes off that one. Looking it into his hands as he ran under it. Dropping back. He surveys the field. Scrambling around. Great play in the backfield. Brock explodes across the line at the snap and then makes his way to the quarterback. Yeah, you know, that's an important quality to have if you're going to excel as a pass rusher. Explosive. The Colts come out in a dime packet. Drops back. Under pressure. Trying to buy some time. A lot of room to work with. Plummer slides in their feet first. Looking for a receiver on the move. Incomplete. Didn't get the first down they needed, John. In this type of situation, the team needs to try anything they can to get into the end zone. This time, they fell short. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and save the victory. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Second and long coming up here. He sees something in the defense. Looks like he's changing the play.
He'll take a knee. They'll get a first down if they can move the ball inside the 19-yard line. James, the lone back, changing the play now. And the clock runs out. The final score is Indianapolis 39, Denver 19. For John Madden, Jill Arrington, and the folks at EA Sports, this is Al Michael saying so long.